In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Gigabyte Control Center. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. The Gigabyte Control Center is your main application for managing various aspects of your Gigabyte motherboard, graphics card, and other compatible peripherals. Keep in mind that the exact features and layout might vary slightly depending on your specific hardware, but these general instructions will work for any piece of equipment that you are trying to manage on the Gigabyte Control Center. So first, make sure that you have the latest version downloaded. You can download it from the official Gigabyte website. So go on Google, look for Gigabyte Control Center, and it should be the first link to pop up. When you launch Gigabyte Control Center after installing, you will find a shortcut on your desktop or in your start menu. And launching the application should automatically detect your peripherals. So if you have a graphics card from Gigabyte plugged into your PC, it is going to appear, and so on. Now, it has a modular design with different sections or tabs on the left side of the menu and across the top. You will see a system overview, so you will see your CPU, motherboard, memory, graphics cards, and all of their specifications. By choosing a specific piece of equipment or hardware, you will see the main options. So for example, on this motherboard, they have RGB fusion, fan control, performance, keyboard tool, and then a macro center. You will be able to customize all of the options regarding this and synchronize the RGB across multiple devices. You can go into fan control, of course, if you would like to change your performance. This is how it looks for a monitor where you are able to customize the quick switch options and the source that is being used. So for example, if it is automatically selecting display port, but you want to use the HDMI port, you can change it from here. You will see display settings, gaming system settings, and everything is easily manageable and accessible. If you see anything here that allows you to input a specific value or customize, it will be applied instantly. So you have full customization over every peripheral that appears here. I hope I was able to help you on how to use Gigabyte Control Center. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.